Ribolita, how does it start? Um, it starts right here. Uh, onion, celery, carrots Sofrito. and leeks. Sofrito. Brava. Sofrito. The, the thing is with vegetable soup is people, uh, they don't understand. They still don't, don't get it. When is the time to put a certain vegetable? Okay? Yeah. Onion, celery, uh, 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 leeks in this case, you put them at the beginning because all the flavors come out, comes out in the oil when you fry them. Carrots, hard vegetable, now is the time to put them in because it requires more time for more cooking. Uh, uh, cooking. But I'm going to show you the stages of vegetable when you put them in. So I'm using borlotti beans as well. Canned, tinned borlotti beans. Yeah. You can get them anywhere. All yeah. right? Um, one tin, you just leave it like this. Mm -hmm. The other tin, you drain it. The one with the juice, you put in a blitzer and you blitz it. And the reason why you do that is so then you make the soup quite thick. All right. It doesn't become nice and runny, okay? So you make it quite, so one ah. tin, you blitz it, one tin, you drain it and you leave it like that. At this point, I'm also doing thyme, rosemary, and bay leaf. Mm -hmm. You just put everything together like that. That goes in into the vegetable. Did you have a good Christmas? Yeah. New Year lovely. and all of that. Huh? Yes, lovely. Thing. Was it good? Thank you very much. Lovely. Amazing, amazing. Now uh, the beans and the the two beans we're going to put it after the stock. So vegetable stock. You yeah. could use if you want chicken stock. That's absolutely fine. But um, vegetable, I think it works well. It's more delicate okay. for this thing, okay? So the vegetable soil goes in there. One trick that you have to do, make sure you don't color the veg this vegetable at the beginning, the celery, the onion. Oh, right. The no, don't color that them. That makes life easier. You want them, yeah, you want them quite pale. Let the vegetable do the, uh, do the, you know, the color, natural color of the vegetable to come out. Then I'm going to put passata, mm -hmm. sieve tomato. That goes in there. Or chopped tomato, whatever you want. <laughs> In this case is chopped tomato. <laughs> Did you just realize as I was putting it yeah, in? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to laugh, yeah. didn't you? <laughs> because oh, they would know, them. they would have done straight away. Passata goes in. Uh, <laughs> Ideally, would you put passata in? It doesn't Either really matter. Thank like, goodness. It, yeah. it doesn't really matter. It's one, you know, it's one of these things. Passata and chopped tomato. What's passata? Potato, with... potato. No, once it's sieved tomato, once the remaining chop. Mm. Uh, you know, this yeah. is. I prefer chopped tomato because oh. it's more rusty. Mm. Yeah, well done, yeah. well covered. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tomato concentrate. Tomato uh, puree. Yeah. Okay, that's are you, are you sure? There. I'm 100 percent sure. <laughs> Now, what's happened? What, what does tomato do in a situation like this? It gives uh, a little bit of bitterness, yeah. but it gives color yeah. to the soup. Okay? Looks We've got time. Already. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what I want you to do what I, love these these. I love this. Cavolo Nero. Cavolo Yeah, they do. Yeah, there you are. That, yeah, that's, uh, <laughs> that's a picture <laughs> today. Really good. Yeah. Can you shred it for me? It's a funny slice. Cavolo Nero, you find them in goods. Uh, uh, long way or crossways? Oh, this way. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Oh, yeah. But if you can find cavallone, it's an Italian cabbage from the north of Italy. And is it just like our sort of cabbage? Is it bit more bitter? It's or? more bitter. Is it like That's green? The, uh, it's, like, it's like kale. Oh, like kale? kale. Yeah, a little bit like kale, a little bit bitter. But if you can find, uh, uh, you know, this one, just go for a normal cabbage or kale, will do the job. Okay. Now, once you guys are at this stage, mm. okay, what I want to do, you cover it. Yes. And you leave it to slowly that boil. Amazing. Yeah, to slowly boil really? for 45 minutes. Yeah. Okay. After 45 minutes, what you do? You want to thicken everything up. Yes. So, the uh, beans goes in there. This doesn't it look looks like something out of I I'm know, a celebrity. I know because you blitz everything together, unfortunately. But trust me, when you see the final dish, you will see that this uh, it, it makes a lot yeah, of sense. Yeah, just get that stirred in okay? ASAP. <laughs> Stir in. Then you put the beans. Okay. And the reason why the, the soup had to be I mean, that thick. is a hearty mm. soup, it isn't it? We said it was hard, but that You really know why is. it had to be thick? Because when the workers were going around in the north of Italy, if you make the soup too runny, then it, it gets spills. It spills all over oh. the place. And that's the reason why the bread... So there is all history in this, uh, uh, in this, in this recipe. So you mix it up, mm. you cook for another 20 minutes, yeah. and the last 15 minutes, yeah. you add the courgettes and the uh, cavolo nero. Why Gambolo only 15 Nero. minutes? Because How crochets... Much? You, want, you want all of those? Go all of them. Crochets, people, they tend to overcook them. Don't understand why. Leave a little bit of crunchiness. 15 minutes sounds like quite a long time to cook a courgette. No, no, 15 in this thick sauce is actually not because there is not too much water uh, to cook them immediately. OK, fine. Then what I got, I got stale bread. I just toasted the bread. Simple as that, just toast it. The way I'll do it, uh, or the way they do it there, if you can break it for me, uh, please just break it and put it in there. And I'm going to show you what it looks like once it's all finished. 
And now, this... imagine, if you haven't got stale bread, you could use normal bread and just toast it, because once you toast stale bread, it's the same anyway. Absolutely, absolutely. It's just a way... Um, can I have the uh, ladle, please? It's just a way to use the stale bread. This but look at the colour. It's absolutely delicious, I've got to say. I'm going to remove that, because that's making me feel ill. OK. <laughs> You know what? It's, it's it, it, the fact that it's pink is a bit. I off know. Place. If yeah. you don't want to do it, if you don't want to do that, don't worry about it. No, so I like can, it in there. It's you can just make when you it, look at it. It looks a bit funny. No, no. What I mean, you can make it uh, runny. Then what you do oh, at this stage? Me, that looks amazing. At this stage, what you do? You can put a little bit of Parmesan cheese if you want. Thank you. Uh, you can open Corino cheese, whatever you fancy. This is really good for you, isn't it? But oh, look at this. Can you imagine all the vitamins? and the good flavour of that and that. Let the bread to soak a little bit just before you serve it to your guests. Oh my gosh, that's so good. So let it soak How and get a vegetable. You can put a little bit of chilli if you fancy. Uh, you can put a bit of Parmesan cheese, that grated so Parmesan good. cheese on top. That is so, but so good. See, what people don't understand, you do something simple as mouth. that and colourful, this could be a main. Mm. When mm. you have people around, you don't, you don't always have chicken or meat. Mm. That's fish. all I'd need. This is, this is a proper main so of good goodness. If you enjoyed that, there's more of the same right here. And make sure you subscribe so that you never miss the best moments from this morning.